So, can we just get into Dune? And we're going to go inside her or what? No, we're going to go to the planet We're going to go in Dune. Arrakis, right? Is what it is? Arrakis. See, he's he's more of the expert on this than I am, so we're going to have to... <clears throat> my Arrakis. My Dune. My Dune. So some might say nerd, but also expert. One of those two. On Dune. So let's Not get yet. started. So I know there's the planet, um, Arrakis or Arrakis. I thought the we went to go see it together in the yes, theater. Yes. We had a lot of fun. I thought it was a really good movie. I thought it was dope. I actually didn't know what I was expecting, but it was better than whatever it was that I was expecting. Okay, good. 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 So there was, I remember there was Furman. It was like the people that are indigenous the to the planet. Yeah. Um, blue eyes because of the spice on the planet. The and spice, spice is large. Super important. Yeah. Like fuel. Yeah. You have a little bit more information on no, this, You're though. killing it. I know. I, I'm just trying to, like, I, I'm giving, like, a real, like, <laughs> intro synopsis of the movie. I don't have any, like, good background. Um, I know there's the feudal tribes going on, and they're all, like, kind of under one empire, but they're all button heads. Trying to yeah, see who's going to be the most powerful. houses. It's kind of like <clears throat> Game of Thrones, uh -huh. but, like, on a galactic scale. Yeah, That's okay. Super cool. okay. But yeah, you're right about the spice and Arrakis. Um, and there's some backstabbing. The oh, Emperor yeah. said one group could have the planet, and then he was like, just I'm kidding. Glad you picked up on it. Yeah, giving it to a different group. Some people are like, I didn't get it. I'm like, what do you mean? That seemed like the whole point of the movie. Good, good. good okay, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. and then there's the, the guy who's like the son of a seer, so, or something like that, so he's able to like, see these visions of the future. Oh, Atreides. The main Timothy character. Chalamet. What do you guys? I don't even know his name. But so, give us some insight. Let's let's hear the the expert on this. About uh, what? Uh, Paul. About Arachne? Dune in general. Okay, Dune in general. Okay, let's start back all the way at the beginning. <laughs> I know there's a history. I think it's about twenty. I know. Twenty to twenty four thousand years ago. Is it like our universe, or is this a totally yeah, I think different? It's based off of like our universe be, be like 20,000 years in the future okay um it said like 10,000 something in the movie but that's like 10,000 after a certain point like yeah well it's kind of like how we decided to set the calendar around Jesus Christ so it's like they just found another starting point right they did that I think at the time when they created like a new um empire kind of thing oh, and they had okay. like a war with machines <clears throat> essentially so what they didn't mention in the Dune movie, and I really wanted them to mention, was there's no um, human-like computing technology. Like, there's no processors, and there's no computers, because they were all banned hella long ago, because there was a huge war. Oh, AI. There's Basically, no yeah, but, like, any human-like processor <laughs> yeah. specifically, because they have, like, a lot of machinery. They have a lot of tech, so there must be, like, some very basic... You know, yeah, compounds. maybe yeah, yeah, very yeah. basic zero ones, but nothing, no AI whatsoever. Like the computer, the computer no computers, that we, we, we'd no be able to do like today, or yeah. not even that much. Did you? But when I thought of like you know ten, twenty thousand years in the future, I thought we would be you know in the metaverse with Mark, brisket <laughs> and and ribs. But no, in Dune they like have that like old fashioned like elegance, like we're gonna fight with swords. So I. Don't quite understand the whole shield thing. Do you have like a, an understanding of why it is that <laughs> fast objects can't go through, but slow objects can? Yeah, that's the. They thing have like a weird game. shield. I haven't um, seen the like, lore of that part in any kind of like book review or YouTube video. Or yeah, I'm still going through the book, uh, audio books, because I don't know if I can read. Oh. It's a real task. <laughs> I got stuff to do, you know, I'll be driving around or something, throw some Dune audiobook. So give us some, some more history. Oh, Dune lore history. So I'm curious about like the whole Empire thing. Does it explain if you read that at all? Yeah. Give us like interesting tidbits. What'd you get? Well, I don't know much about the Emperor. Okay. Know, no, 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 just in general though. Just some like interesting it's fun just, like, facts that you didn't get out of houses. the movie. So like um the Atreides Paul's house, like those, the main character Paul and his dad, Leto, apparently the Atreides house goes all the way back to like the Roman Empire. Hmm. And it's been like 20,000 years. 
So they're like still a royal house on a huge galactic scale. They like have a planet mm-hmm. or two that they commandeer or whatever. Or they're the fief of that planet and they control whatever kind of resources, but they're all working under the emperor. A fiefdom. A fiefdom. Something like that. Interesting. There was a lot of drama and like backstabbing between the houses, like the Harkonnen. Those are like the big bulky bald dudes. Um, they were just kind of vicious and trying to get like, you know, money and power and stuff. Like the bad guys in the movie. Yeah, they're like killing each other dads or brothers or something like that you know mm-hmm. it's like game of thrones it's just like game of thrones but on a huge like galactic scale that's what i really like there's so much and it's like i don't know how intricate it actually goes into the books or if they're gonna just renew it i guess the thing for me when i was watching the dune movie is it kind of gave me sort of like a i don't know like a like a star wars vibe but just so different in the sense that it's like it felt like i was walking in right in the middle of this massive universe yeah and star wars kind of does that right Mm -hmm. but i feel like you watch it and you're like okay more or less i kind of understand what's going on in the whole universe but with with dune i feel like there's so many unanswered questions like i don't know and i feel like there's so much backstory that's not explained that's what, so I watched it, the first time I watched it, it was on HBO Max, and oh, okay. it blew my mind off. I was like, holy fuck, what just happened? I thought Jason Momoa was a good pick for that movie. Dude, I loved him. Probably my favorite character in the movie. He had a couple lines that I thought were cheesy, <clears throat> but I was like, I'll forgive it. He's fucking Aquaman. Let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. And I think in the books, he's going to, spoiler alert, he's coming back to life. Oh. Oh. let's go but it's some kind of like reanimated body avatar or something he might have his memory wiped i'm not sure mm. i can't remember interesting i can't remember and paul did have like a vision of jason momoa in like the fremen tr- tribe he, he had blue, eyes. blue eyes yeah yeah i remember that but not all of his visions come true yeah it seems like sometimes it's almost like a like a psychic vision that like i would have it just feels sometimes oh, sort of like... Oh, Eris is Apollo I guess so. Sometimes, like with that, sometimes I'll have a vision, and it's not quite clear what it's trying to tell me. And then in hindsight, you're like, oh, I get what I was trying to say. It just didn't happen that way. So I feel like that's how it is with the main character in the movie and all the other seers that come from his mom's line. Yeah. You know, the they're, like, people, they're seeing these visions. He supposed to be like... He was like bred to be the chosen one with like the best powers wasn't it to bridge time and space all and, women like, see like whatever organization yeah. that her mom and started? his mom jessica broke the rules by having it well i don't know if she knew she was gonna have a male but she kept him obviously yeah well and i bet that was more so for the dad too because i'm sure the dad needed a son yeah, to take over. The son, like, I mean, I don't know their their throw. political cultural society within the movie, but I, I wonder if maybe like a daughter couldn't take over anyway. So I don't know how the Atreides roll. I don't know. Yeah, see, so many unanswered questions, which is see. why I want more movies. I need more. There's gonna be a part two, but I think there should be like three. They can make a whole TV show. That's what I thought. Like instead of so, what's what was it? Two and a half hours. Yeah. Times two, that's five hours. Maybe seven to eight hours of film. Mm-hmm. TV show could be ten hours at least. Well, I mean, you could have a TV show about something totally like it's unrelated within seasons. the same universe. I know, you could branch off and have uh-huh. one about the Fremen or one about the Emperor like 5,000 years ago or something. Mm-hmm. There's just so much in that universe. I know. It's so complicated and built up. 